So I wanted to show you guys what my quick minimal morning routine is now because it's a little bit different to before and I've just not got <laughs> as much time as I used to have. So start off with a shower obviously, then I cleanse my skin. At the moment I'm using the MV Organic um, Cleanser. I love this, it's so soft and gentle on the skin. I always buff my cleanser off with a hot cloth. I'm really into this line at the moment because it's super um, kind of natural and organic. Uh, obviously it's called organic in the title. And then obviously I brush my teeth, I'm sure you know how to do that. <laughs> Um, I love this toothbrush. I know this is really, it's weird to love a toothbrush, but I really do. <laughs> okay, then I go on to my, the rest of my skincare. So, well, usually I use a serum, but some mornings I don't have time, I'll be totally honest. Um, and most mornings at the moment, I'm using the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, because I just love it. It's so simple, such a good base for makeup. And then recently I've been starting to use primers again. I used to use them back in the day and then I stopped. And at the moment I'm kind of merging foundations because you guys know I love the NAR, this NARS one. But I also love this Becca foundation for summer, summer skin. So I'm kind of transitioning. So I'm mixing them both and I love the finish because it's got a little bit of glow to it. I've been loving this, what is this? I don't know where it came from. It was in my PO box. It's like a silicone sponge. It looks like what is in my boobs. <laughs> It's amazing, like I, it's just been a, such a lifesaver. It spreads and like blends the foundation so well. So yeah, I've been obsessed with this. And then uh, obviously I go in with concealer. You guys kind of know my basic routine, but I really wanted to do an updated one. It's nothing new, but sometimes I just feel like sharing what I'm actually using at the moment. So it's like an honest, you know, quick morning routine. So um, I actually lost my usual brow pencil, so I'm using a different one here. I recently repurchased my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, brow wiz, and I love that. I kind of prefer that one, to be honest. It depends if I've got time. I don't always do this, but concealer around the brows really helps to define the brows better. Um, and then I've been really loving this powder recently. It's just a NARS loose setting powder. Um, I just I just really like it because it's really quick and easy to use. It, it's just a very finely milled powder, which which is really nice to set your face with because I don't like a heavy powder to finish off with. But I always do want a powder because otherwise I feel like my makeup just disappears. Okay, then recently I've been liking also adding another step just with a face mist. It's super quick and easy, so it doesn't really take much time up. Um, and then I've got this recently. I'm so obsessed. Oh, look, just it's just amazing. <laughs> it's this cream and powder eyeshadow from Tom Ford. I usually just use the cream part, so again, quick and easy to apply onto your eyes and blend out. Um, then liner, standard with me. I feel like I should switch things up, like, it's getting so old now. <laughs> I just always feel like I look my best with liner on. Then a bit of mascara, I'm not very picky. I just kind of go with, you know, what's closest to me at the time or ones I'm testing out. This is Benefit There I've loved this for years. Then I'm just going on to hair. Jason just popped into my shop casually. This is just like ugh, daily with my hair. I'm just, it's not great. <laughs> I just don't have the time. If there's one thing I don't have time for at the moment is hair, but I usually just straighten it out and then throw in some waves and some curls. And then I use usually like some dry shampoo um, and so, or some like setting spray. I love this. Um, I love this curling wand from GHD, it's amazing. It's one of the best ones I've used. And obviously I love my Orbe <laughs> Wave and Shine Spray. I've tried so many different things and nothing lives up, up to this. Then at the moment I've been trying out this Bumble and Bumble Dry Oil Finishing Spray. I love the smell of it, it's so nice. And it does give a really nice, very subtle finish to the, to the hair and it makes it feel a bit softer again, which is really nice. Oh, for some reason I'm doing my liner here, I don't know why, <laughs> but um, I love this lip liner. It's Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. I'm sure everyone loves this. So I went with this white outfit, which isn't as dodgy as you think with a baby because they don't really make much dark mess, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, this jumper's from Zara. It's so pretty. I'll try and link everything down below. And yeah, this is just a bit of a throw-on outfit. And that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just a little updated. Get ready with me, really. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.